y'all y'all go ahead like and subscribe we back at it again back at it again hello 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 are you paris yes sir all right fantastic first and foremost all rides are recorded you have an 18 minute ride uh, feel free to enjoy the tablet because the tablet is free. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, again, I want to thank you for riding with Uber.
It's the AMC? Yes, sir. Alright. Again, I want to thank you for riding with Uber. It's open. I said like and subscribe on the game. Hello, hello, hello. Are you uh, Teddy? Huh? Yes, sir. You Teddy? Yep. All right, fantastic. First and foremost. Trust me, if somebody was jumping in the car, I would have dragged them on, pulled them on. Like, yo, this is my Uber. Oh, no, I saw a blue dot. So I was. Oh, okay. Uh, first and foremost, all rides are recorded. You have a 15 minute ride. Feel free to enjoy the tablet because the tablet is free. Would you just had a workout? Oh, I work there. Oh, you work there, okay. Mm. But you record the, uh, the rides now? Just... Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, some, some uh, I mean, come on, now, that's common sense. I, I, no, I wouldn't I, call it common sense. Uh, anytime you have somebody that's getting a vehicle that you don't that you don't know who they are, you don't know their parents, you don't know. Yeah, but you know they're connected to the phone, so if anything happens, they're easy to get in trouble because of the phone. You know what I mean? You would assume that. No, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm speaking factually. That's. You know, uh, people are using. I'm using my phone. My pay, everything's through my phone. Okay, I got that part. Before. Yeah, that's facts. That's not no, no it's speculation. Right. So, have you ever read the terms and conditions of Uber? No, I didn't read it. What it say? Okay, you're subject to being monitored. They encourage us to record our rides so that if anything does happen, men lie, women lie. The footage is going to be accurate. Yeah, so, police so. have it too. I mean, that's that's the law now. But I mean, I, you know, it's it's still I don't know. I, I wish more people were trustworthy like yourself, yeah. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> no, I know. That's why I asked you if there's any incidents that happened that, oh. you, know, that you had to do that. You know? uh, previously, yes. Like, but, no, so a girl told me the other day her shit, but I was curious to hear what happened with you. Uh, yeah, um, I normally don't even drive after dark, but when that hour change, oh. it gets dark uh, so early that I... Yeah. Um, but I was out at 12 o'clock and it, it's just not the best kind and of... it's here, right, Jackson? I just moved yeah. here two years ago, so I'm not from here, but I'm north is a little grimy too where I was. Yeah. Ago, uh, no, this, the girl yesterday, she was telling me, she said that she had, uh, uh she didn't want to pick up men no more. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, she had this fucking bad experience. I'm like, damn. But I get it, though, as a female, but I, you know, because I was trying to get my little cousin, you know, for a side hustle. I said, at least do the food, you know, because mm -hmm. you don't have to put nobody in your car, but right. I said, you know, you can always, you know, we can't live life in fear either, you know, that's like the COVID thing. That's why I left Connecticut. Everybody's scared of a sneeze or a cough, and I'm like, oh, yeah. No, and I'm not being political, but I'm like, listen, I trust my body. I fucking work out. I eat well. Like, let me, I don't need no medicine. I don't want to take medicine that I don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I got a vaccination when I was little, but it was out of my control because I was fucking not even a talk. Right, right. <laughs> well, I don't want to live life in fear either. You know, I have bad yeah. eyesight. That's why I take an Uber every day. But, you know, I'm also taking a risk too, driving with a stranger that I don't know. I put my seatbelt back on here. But, right. so there's a risk on both half, but I get it. But I just, you know, I, my, my thing is I don't want to live life in fear because, you know, you don't really live, like, you know. But I know there's some duckheads. Trust me, I'll be the first one to choke somebody out too. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, I don't want to live like I don't want to have that mind frame where I'm like, gotta put the guard up. Like, and I know there's some shit, but if you if you you have that vibe where you confident and you like, you know, you know my grandma used to say in Spanish like, you know, like malo te pega, like they, it gets you, it sticks to you. Uh -huh. But I don't know, man. I, I live life where I'm like I don't even think that way, so I really don't get none of that energy. Yeah, yeah. I, and There's again, knuckleheads. Don't get me wrong. They're gonna be that small percentage, but yeah. I don't know, man. Like I said, everybody was saying, you know. I I just try to be preventative. It's not that I'm afraid. Yeah, no, no. You you're proactive. I get yeah, it. Yeah. For sure, I get it. But you know what I'm saying is, I'm 47 years old, and I walk with with this confidence, like meaning nothing gonna happen to me. Like I I walk with that like flow. Like I don't like nobody's gonna take me off my fucking rocker so but that's what i'm saying but it's a mind thing you know right of course somebody can pull up a gun and shoot me but i'm not thinking that way i don't want to live like and, you, and you're not provoking that type of uh right and yeah. I'm, I'm i got that energy where it's like you know like I, you know 
I would, and no, they, even walking around here, like as I work right there, right? So even across the street, people be driving buck wild. Like, like over here, it's crazy. People are quick to take a right turn or mm -hmm. take that left turn when the arrow's already gone. Mm -hmm. And I have walk rage. I'd be like, I will flip a car over. And my boy's <laughs> like, yo, they got guns here. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You can't live life like everybody's gonna shoot you. I'm like, no, that's the same. Like I said, the COVID thing, we're like, oh, you gotta wash your head. You gotta be dumb. I'm like, Trust me, I'm good. I'm yeah, I, uh, a lot of it comes from uh, the conditions that we, that, I mean, again, I don't know about I just hope none of these, no, I see some girls, it was these two black girls, I think in Philly, and the driver, he was like from India, and they fucking, they end up murdering him, remember that? I don't know if you remember that story, that was like a year ago. I've I'm heard, like, I've heard too many of those stories. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, fucking people don't ruin it for me, like, I, the Uber is a blessing for me, uh, if anything. <laughs> 12 years ago, I used to date this chick. I want to get the fuck away from her. I called the yellow. It was yellow and white. Five to 50 minutes was the range. You know what? how long I had to wait today? <laughs> like 15 four. minutes. And yeah. it only did the reason why I did it. Because I said so. I said, save and wait. Yeah. So I didn't, you know what I mean? Because I was not in a hurry. I'm at work, whatever. Yeah. And I'm getting eye candy. But I just I just laugh. Like, people <laughs> ruined the fucking Uber. But what I'm saying is going to get to the point with the technology. Uh -huh. I, listen, I, I trained a cop, and this is what he told me. He goes, all these dudes thinking they can get away with everything. Guess what's getting them the most? Technology. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the camera zoom. But this dude was like, <laughs> coming to the barbershop, I wore a black hoodie. Motherfucker, they still called him. He was back a fucking week later. Yeah, they, yeah, they could tell everything oh, man, about you. You can't do no crimes, though. Wow. Even the cyber. This is girl. She said her brother about to, about to do time. Because he thought he was slick, little, trying to do the smart crime. Boom, mm. they caught him. That's a federal offense. He's about to do a little bit. Yeah, I, I try I to stay away from No one's getting on this crime. I mean, obviously you got those fucking, you know, bad, small percentage numbers where people put the shoe and then they bounce, you know? But they always get caught out. Yeah, that, yeah, I, yeah, I try, I, yeah. Uh, but again, you know, I'm... The, the I, crime again. that people do, every, you ever see those things where people do crime, they get caught out quick because they're stupidness. Like, they miss up or... Like this one dude robbed the fucking liquor store, left his license. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, when people do stupid shit like crime, where it's not really, they don't put all they, you know, Marlboros in that shit. They're they doing it with stupidity, and they always get in trouble. It's, yeah. You know, I laugh at half these dudes, and that they got no game. You know what I mean? Yeah, just I, I just be staying prayed up. Uh, yeah, man, I, I take pride in getting people where they. Oh, oh you know what she with. had? She had the pin. Huh? So you know how you could put you could put a pin in there. Uh -huh. So when they come in your car, they got to give you the pin. Yeah. So that that was that's what she did. I remember, and I read it real quick before, but I, I get those randomly. But I'm like, um, I'm an Uber one, so I always like, you know, I'm, I take it, I write it off for taxes. Yeah. But I, I, when I hear any vibe or anybody talking like they're going to be stupid with the Uber, I always get mad. Like, I, I, I'm the quick one to be defend. Like, He's like fucking ruin shit like that. Team Uber. Yeah, no, 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 that, this is a, this is bringing uh, money. This is a legit job. Yeah, but you know, uh, Tesla is trying to make those uh, cars that drive by themselves. Shit, that's what I want. I'm waiting for yeah. that. I'm saying, you know what year I said? 2026. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm hoping for. Because I honestly, I would be in the passenger side, pick up my chick, and be like, yo, we about to go out. Yeah. But you know what I did, right? Because this girl at first, she was like, dang, you don't drive? I said, I'm going to show you how I how I roll. Like, I always said, I could Uber to you, and I could Uber away from you. Uh -huh. In minutes. Like, I, I would walk, wait outside five minutes for the Uber. <laughs> Like, I'm like, that's how fast I can move with the Uber. Right. So I took well, her on a date. The market is saturated right now. Yeah. yeah. So I took her on a date, right? Uh -huh. And I said, you're not going to drive. We're going to do it. We're going to do a regular Uber. And it was during the day. Old man picked us up, brings us. And I said, all right, you ready? And now we're going to do Uber Black, next level. <laughs> Just to show her what, how it really is. Right. Mercedes come picks us up and she's like, oh, I like this. I go, I'm telling you, like, at the same time is you lease a car, you money that you invest on Uber is about the same. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's pros and cons to it. Uh, but For yeah. Me, I see more pros, personally. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I always say this, I ain't no Uber picking me up in a flat tire. Right. There was one time a car broke down, but I was like, he had this old station wagon, and he, I was like, he, it was a block from where I had to go to the barbershop. I was like, oh, thank you, you can leave me right here. And he's like, no, 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 my car really don't start. I'm like, look. <laughs> I'm done. The ride's done. I'm right here. I'm good. Yeah. But I'm no one. No Uber's picking me up in the flat. And most of the time, like I said, I haven't had one bad ride. My my rating is four four nine seven. Yeah. That's why I tell sometimes. I told the girl yesterday. Go. Sometimes you can look at the ratings and shit. Like you can see 
who these people are. Like, you know, like say if they a uh, drug dude goes in a car and he throws up, they ch you can get charged two hundred fifty bucks for that. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things that Uber does that's smart, you know, and then you can track these fuckers. Right. I think that's why these guys try to be slick, but you know, some of those knuckleheads they be having those burner phones, you know, so. Uh, they be putting random names on there and stuff yeah. like. But that's stupid. But but, but like Uber is working on, uh, yeah. you know, the verification process and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's legit, and that's I think it's gonna get better, you know. But uh, these knuckleheads that think that they're gonna make crime and do technology and, and not think they're gonna get away with it's nuts, dude. It's it's, it's it's crazy. Your phone, my phone is. I don't even bring my wallet anywhere no more because mm. my phone is my wallet. You know what I mean? Basically, yeah. everything's there. So these guys think they're gonna commit crime, and it's the, the ones that are doing it probably young knuckleheads, you know. Yeah, they just haven't learned like the lessons. Dude, he, he, you know, he was like the North Side, but I'm like, listen, I heard as I grew up up north, and I grew up in the hood, but we were, you know, my mother was more single mom, frugal, whatever. But I'm like, listen, you don't go to a bad neighborhood unless you're trying to do bad things anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. Trying to cop some fucking crack or some shit, but I ain't trying to. I said, where I live, I, I bought a house out here. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice neighborhood. And I said, I said, he was a white guy too. I said, listen, I know about the South Side. Don't fucking act like the North Side bad. I said, university, that looks like South Central. Yeah. You know, but for them, they're like, oh, shit, it's scary over there. I'm like, yeah, for you, not for anybody else. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, life is about perspective. Yeah, I'm not fucking living that fear, yo. Yeah. I'm not afraid of nobody. Yeah, I respect that. That's, no, I'm yeah. telling you, and I'm keeping 100 even. My whole thing too is like, you know, that whole thing with the COVID, I was annoyed, yo. I, I remember Connecticut was real liberal now. This opposite of Florida. Mm. So I'm walking, I was I was like bumping the gym's clothes, I was running, and they would go, uh, where's your mask? And I'm like, lady, I'm outside, get out of my face. <laughs> and then I, I was at a restaurant with my cousin, Kristen, I just talked to him today. And some lady asked me if I was vaccinated. I'm like, none of your business. You know what the hell today? is? She asked you that yeah, today. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's how aggressive people get. Yeah. And I'm didn't... like, no, man. We're not having this guy. I don't even know you. Yeah. I was like, yo, if you you scared, stay home. That's what I told the lady. Because I was sprinting. I was doing sprints. And she goes, where's your mask? I'm like, listen, if you're scared, scared stay home. Right. And I said, look, you need to lose some weight, too. Chunky ass. I, I mean, I did. I, but I did hear some stories about people who coughed on people and then seven days later they were dead <laughs> you know, well, I'm not, I don't, for me I, I i control my immune system yeah, I, yeah. I, my ex-girl I, I just talked to her too yeah so one time she was sick she ended up getting covid oh. so i said yo look you want me to go over there and take care of you she goes you're not scared i was like girl i'm gonna fucking suck your face and suck some blow you know like, okay i'm not i'm not scared like i want to let me help you 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 by yourself you want me to bring you some tea you want some soup i'll go over there went over there did I get sick? Maybe no. I had a little headache, but I knocked that shit in one day. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't yeah. really, I'm, I'm like, whatever, yeah. I'm not scared of no sickness. I'm fucking, you know, and like my cousin, she was like, oh, I'm gonna come visit you in Florida, but I don't like alligators, hurricanes, and sharks. Well, I said, yo, I've been here two years, I haven't seen all three yet, so I'll let you know when I see it. Right. The hurricanes were, you know, granted, with the Jacksonville is, is a gem because, you know, it's, no one knew about it, but up north, it's so north that it's perfect for the hurricane. Right. Is that alligators? I mean, you know, you see alligators in Jacksonville, have you? Uh, no. I mean, you you see alligators if you go looking for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I ain't looking for no goddamn fucking alligator. Yeah. And then the sharks? I said, yo, I'll go swimming. I'll go surfing. But honestly, I ain't seen nothing like that. You yeah. Go over, you know. No, Jacksonville is, is different uh, than what people think. You got to really Yeah, it's got a it. bad reputation. It's weird. Like, but a lot of people don't know about it. It's ignorance, you know? Yeah. Because they, you know, they were like, oh, but what it was, it, it's known, for, it was known always to be a religious place. But right. that dude, the Baptist leader, you know, he's an, he's already like on his deathbed. But to me, I tell people like, hey, if, if that floats your boat, that's cool. But, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, that's not my, that's not my conversation. It's not my cup of tea. Right, know? right, right. So, hey, if you, if you love God, good for you. But don't put it on people. Don't be like a cell job, you know? Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, like, let people, if, let people naturally have interests together, you know what I mean? Yeah, let them enjoy their life, live their life, yeah, like, make their own judges. decisions. I went, they were like, people were like, up north, they were aggressive with that, there was Jehovah's Witnesses a lot. Oh, there. wow. And yeah. Pentecostal, they were aggressive. They just would leave like a flat, uh, like a like pamphlet, whatever, right in your, why are you eating at the restaurant? You're like, damn, aggressive. <laughs> and then with the first thing it says, it would be like, first you got to admit that you're sitting. 
man, I grabbed that shit and threw it right at him. Like, how do you, how you, you know, cause I'm eating pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I'm committed to sin. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, yeah. Yes, sir. I'll be like, that's that, uh, that, um, song, the new song that we're playing in the gym. Uh, what's his name? West Coast with Kenji Lamar. Oh, yeah, not like us. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a throwback. That could have last back in the 90s when I, I grew up to Wu-Tang, so. Yeah. That's official, and that's when I walk around, I'm like, no, not like us. Yeah, they don't a, build them like me no it's more. It's a chant. Yeah, that's not like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of fucking cats that are, you know, sloppy with the shit, you know, with their game. Yeah. Even the chicks now, man. The young chicks are. Oh, <laughs> boy, a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, they, they're just, they're just real grungy. I was like, yo, at the gym, you'd be surprised. And the ones that complain about people looking at them are wearing the tightest and the highest Pum Pum shorts. Yeah. Like, oh, they're staring at you. I don't wonder why. And yellow, too. Like, wear colors. You're like, check, you got them sky blue fucking jack and shit. You can see the whole frame. <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> no, exactly. And I'm talking about, you know, those yoga pants, they're fitted. So you see shapes. You're like, hey, girl, you mean shape? <laughs> you see all that shit. But, you know, that's just the world we live in. It's a setup, you know? Yeah. You fuck with the men. Yeah, like, just, yeah. uh, Men are supposed to be aggressive and say, hey, you look pretty. Hey, you want to go out to have a coffee? You know what I mean? We're supposed to do that. Yeah. By nature, yeah. Yeah. But, no, they want to fucking make it like it's something, you know? I hear you, brother. But this was fast. We got here fast. Oh, man. I've, I've been driving since when the sun came up. Yeah. No, I know. I left this morning like 7 o'clock. My last client was said it wasn't that bad. It was like five thirty. Oh, you're you be training people? Yeah, I'm the well? fitness director. I run the department. Okay, okay, okay. So I, my last time was five thirty, and then I did my have a private because all the Connecticut ones they didn't want to come back to the gym, so I made them all virtual kind of. Uh huh. So I got side hustle. Right. So my girl be like, Yo, you you got? I said, Damn, I need to get another side hustle. She goes, You already got one. I'm like, Yeah, I know, but I don't look at it like that. It's more like you know, because it's. it's my full time job too. I train. Right, it goes hand yeah, in hand. So I have old, you know, I have two old ladies, and, uh, some old guy, and I got a girl. She's kind of, she's not old. She's got ten years old. She's like fifty seven. She's uh, cool. Uh -huh. But I used to train her at the house because she she was paranoid about the gym. So I'm like, girl, yeah. girls go anywhere, yo. Yeah, like like you were saying earlier, everybody's so scared of her. Yeah, that fear shit. It annoys me too sometimes. They're like, all right, if you don't want to, like, even if my you know my friends they don't want to do certain things, I'm like. Live it, you know? Yeah. Live it to the fullest, man. Yeah, man. Because at the end of the day, man, like you're in control of a lot of things. And now, what it is, and, the, and I give you props, being proactive. That's cool, like doing all that stuff. I was just asking, you know, your experience, because I, that girl yesterday, and I felt bad for her because the one dude was fucking, you know, trying to do some sexual shit on her. You know? Uh -huh. I'm like, damn. I told her you need to carry mace. <laughs> and, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, oh, you're right here on you. Yeah. The, the gold, yep. <laughs> I just passed it. My apologies. <laughs> All right, Mr. Teddy, man, you be safe and you yes, have sir. a wonderful evening. You too, my friend. Uh huh.